morning. Thank you for being here today. House Republicans remain focused on providing critical checks and oversight on the Biden administration and delivering results on our commitment to America. Leader Scalise, do you agree with Tucker Carlson's characterization that January 6th was peaceful? Well, if you looked at some of, I watched the first day of his uh, expose on some of these tapes that are released that you're all, you're all going to be seeing as well. Uh, but he also criticized uh, the people who broke the laws and, and attacked police officers. Uh, so the bottom line is there's finally transparency. Uh, this January 6th committee was always partisan from the beginning. Nancy Pelosi did not want all the facts to come out, so she cherry-picked what was released. She actually released some things that even Capitol Police uh, didn't want released. They, they asked Tucker Carlson, to not show some things that he blurred out. Uh, there were things that Pelosi's January 6th committee released even about the undisclosed location uh, where members of leadership went. Uh, so at the end of the day, transparency is an important thing and so the public's gonna be able to see a lot more information. Uh, but ultimately, you know, and, and for my colleague Barry Loudermilk, uh, I think he's owed an apology by every Democrat who questioned him on the events prior to January 6th. They implied things about him that weren't true, that those tapes revealed, and, and I'm waiting for those apologies to come because they owe it to him. Yes, in the back. On that issue, you have all of these issues you're raising, and yet January 6th is back in the news cycle. Do you regret the decision that Speaker McCarthy made to hand those tapes over to Tucker Carlson? Well, look, no matter whether the tapes are released or not, it seems like some in the press want to talk about January 6th every day. Uh, so do a lot of Democrats. They only want to talk about certain parts of it, though. And so at the end of the day, have the transparency to get all the facts out. Let the public see uh, everything, not just what was a one-sided sham committee, that was only focused on getting one side of the story out. We have serious questions about whether prior to January 6th there were decisions made uh, by the leadership in Congress at the time to turn down help from the National Guard, for example, uh, that could have prevented what happened. And so a lot of that is still going to come out. So get the facts out. And in the end, transparency is the best disinfectant. I yeah. you're saying you're, you're, you're in the interest of transparency. Transparency would be to release it to all the news outlets to take their own credible look at it. When is that right. going to happen? And Speaker McCarthy said they're going to be doing that. And so the good news is for you, you, you didn't get that under Speaker Pelosi. You will get that under Speaker McCarthy. And, uh, and that's a new day uh, that we're seeing in a lot of ways. We're finally seeing a lot of transparency across the board. We're seeing Congress work differently and better, delivering results for the American people now, too. That's something we didn't see. Leader Scalise, can you tell us about the Republicans' plans to look into the mistreatment of uh, the parents at D.C. jail who are held on pretrial detention? I don't know if that's going to be something that there's a few different committees that are looking at a number of things, not just related to January 6th, looking at some of these agencies that abuse their power. I think you saw Jim Jordan release some uh, subpoenas over the weekend uh, for some of these federal agents. Uh, I think, frankly, the media ought to be concerned about the report uh, that's been exposed recently that the FTC was going after journalists regarding Twitter. And so when you see some of these federal agencies under the Biden administration going after people that are either exposing truth that they don't want out, uh, we're going to be looking into a lot of that. So thank you. It's going to be a lot of, uh, I think, a lot more transparency is coming. Uh, there's no question but that January 6th was a riot, a, an insurrection attempt, an effort to overturn the process designed in the Constitution to uh, allow the voice of the people to be carried out in, in who we have as our elected representatives. Uh, it was an outrageous act. Uh, a lot of people were injured. Our building was, uh, was severely damaged. And um, efforts to try and pretend that it was something other than that are despicable and, and frankly dangerous because it makes it more likely that people will think things like this are acceptable and they might try and do them in the future. It's simply, uh, it's awful what some people are willing to do to get some eyeballs or get a little extra money. The last, the last night, Speaker McCarthy defended this decision. He didn't say, he said he didn't regret it either. What do you think about that? Uh, you know, I'm not going to speak about yes, other so colleagues and talk about myself, which is any effort by a news organization uh, to, uh, to try and portray what happened here as anything other than a, a, a violent, disgusting attack on our nation's uh, uh, symbol of democracy. It's, uh, 
it's outrageous. With the Fox Dominion voting systems lawsuits, are you alarmed about you know what specifically some Fox cable news hosts are telling viewers over January 6th compared to what they've said behind privately with Rupert Murdoch? Yeah, I haven't I haven't watched all of the the communications back and forth, but I'm not surprised that intelligent people realize that what they were saying on the air was uh, untruthful, was lies, uh, and uh, I'm just uh, disappointed that they would uh, sell their, their personal integrity so cheaply. I think two things. I want to find out um, the full extent of what happened on January 6th, intelligence failures. I know that some people came up the night before to plant bombs before Trump ever spoke. The January 6th committee kind of whitewashed that. But I don't want to be any. I don't want to take any part in whitewashing January the sixth. It wasn't a stroll through the Capitol. Uh, it was an attack on our Capitol. The people involved in violence should go to jail. But the January sixth committee, in my view, didn't look at the entire picture of January the sixth. What led up to it? Why were we so ill prepared? Do you think Speaker disagree? McCarthy made a mistake giving Tucker Carlson that footage exclusively? I think I'd give it to everybody. going on? Oh, look, we agree with the, the chief of uh, Capitol Police and, and the right range of bipartisan lawmakers. You heard them all yesterday. You guys reported on it, who have condemned uh, this false de depiction of the unprecedented violent attack on, con on our Constitution and the rule of law, which cost police, police uh, <laughs> officers their lives. And that's what we saw on that day, on a very dark day, an attack on our democracy. And so we also, uh, when as it relates to the Tucker Carlson question, we agree with uh, Fox Nation's own attorneys and executives who have repeatedly stressed in multiple courts of law that Tucker Carlson is not credible when it comes to this issue, in particular 